hi friends so today i'm going to teach you next type of uh, composting that is vermi composting for which i have taken this crate and uh, i'll be lining this uh, with the help of this cardboard i waste cardboard we get along with the packing this is the cardboard that i had already spread it in a crate so same i'm using so from all the four sides i'll be lining blue with this cardboard and we are going to make bed for our earthworms <coughs> now first of all i shall be putting a wet cardboard that i have already soaked in water to squeeze out excess water you can take newspapers also wash the newspapers well like soak it and then you change water because newspaper ink may have some chemicals so uh, this will make a warm bed for my earthworms a soft bed because earthworms the ferritima these breathe through skin so if we provide proper moisture then they will be very happy Now this is soil. So another layer after wet cardboard is soil. So spread it very nicely. So the soil is little moist. And then another layer I'm making a cow dung. So this is cow dung. So if you take three four days old cow dung, that will be better. so another layer of cow dung you can see you can wear gloves while working i'm in habit of doing it with hands so right so this is another layer and now i'll be adding my semi compost uh, semi decomposed compost so the see i already filled it in a bag so very nice black color uh, this compost is earth worms will remain very happy If there is any bit of polythene that you remove, so you can see in my compost these leaves, which are not fully decomposed yet, but the kitchen waste has been decomposed. So another layer. Okay, now I'll show you my worms, my friends. can see these worms because it's day time so they don't want light so you see our best friends of the farmer so i'll just put so i wish all the worms a very nice stay Uh, let me show a bit closer i'll be again covering it with some semi compost semi decomposed compost which is a food for earthworms so partially decomposed compost you can add
अर्थोम्स लव पपाया पील्स एप्पल पील्स सो आई आई डिड नॉट हैव एप्पल पील्स टुडे सो आई एम जस्ट पुटिंग लिटिल मेलन पील्स बट वी कैन नॉट पुट एंटायर किचन वेस्ट हियर बिकॉज फ्रेश किचन वेस्ट रिलीज इज सम मीथेन सो मीथेन इज नॉट गुड फॉर अर्थ वॉर्म्स एंड नाउ सो आई शेल बी आई शेल कीप एडिंग द पार्शली डिकम्पोज कम्पोस्ट ऑन वन साइड एंड फ्रॉम द अदर साइड देन आई रिमूव इट सो आई एम जस्ट कीपिंग इट आई मेक इट मॉइस्ट बाय स्प्रिंकल इट स्प्रिंकलिंग इट वॉटर एंड I understand the question may be coming that these crates they have big holes earthworms might not wriggle out no if they get proper food here and uh, moisture then these will never come out because earthworms do not like light so they want to remain in dark and now i shall be covering it with a cardboard or a nice cloth i can take so this is cotton cloth this i shall be covering my crate with it or i can take jute the jute also ensures aeration i can instead of this i can also take this jute which has which has pores and will ensure cross ventilation so this is a perfect bed for worms and as your worms will keep on increasing you can distribute you can share with your friends and uh, earthworms are very fast eaters they can eat many times more than their own body weight and uh, within one month they make the compost ready you have to protect it from direct sunlight and rain ants and rodents so keep it at an if you have some dark corner in your home you can keep it there or in some shady portion of your balcony or your home so again once again i wish you happy composting if you cannot if you are not comfortable with wormy compost then you can go for aerobic composting which is very easy and tomorrow i shall be showing you uh, same aerobic composting in uh, ardan picture till then have a good day and happy composting once again thank you